Hi everyone, we get imitation six here. This one is kind of tough because he's all spread out, and um, it, it's hard to hit a lot of buildings with with the grenades. Uh, it's going to be basically taking out one building at a time here, uh, instead of overthrowing and taking out huge groups of them. So the first thing we got to do is. Uh, use the GVE to take care of this grappler. So two barrages is not going to do it. It's probably going to take two barrages and a little bit more. So I might do two barrages here and then maybe one barrage here and that hopefully will take out both of these. So three barrages, if I can do it, take out the boom cannon and the grappler at the same time. Uh, it might take another artillery on top of that. I think to maybe take out the grappler. So after that we'll probably come in here now there is a boom mine over here, um, and then we have these two shock launchers here. So what I'm hoping, what I'm thinking is maybe just dump everybody uh, here, take out this sniper tower, and maybe come around here and take out this sniper tower and the shock launcher while I'm here, uh, and then come over here, shock the cannon and the, and the shock launcher here, take those guys out, uh, and then again, another shock over here, and move my way up this way. By that time, I hopefully have enough gunboat energy to, to barrage that boom cannon. So this is going to be kind of tough moving up this direction, actually. Um, you know what? We may want to move up this direction. Uh, there might be actually better... It's more GBE up this way. Yeah, but then we got to take out this boom cannon also. So that's the, that's the tough question here. <coughs> Let's give it an attack and see what happens. I'm not really sure. This one's a... So with two barrages down in there and see what happens. So you see this boom cannon's almost dead actually. So yeah, I think maybe one more barrage will take everything out here. Let's just put the one more barrage down and take them both out. Okay. Wow, that was close. I almost missed that one. Uh, so let's drop everybody here and see what we can do. Now remember, there is a boom mine over here, so we got to keep track of that guy. Okay, so that's good there. I'm going to flare over here, because I'm going to try and take out this... Uh... Now, if we're lucky... Oh, he took out that boom mine. That was perfect. I don't think that could have been any better. So we may need to shock this, because we are doing getting a lot of damage from... Well, okay, so... Let's come and take out this. Yeah, that's perfect. If we can take out this uh, sniper tower here also. That'd be great. And then I'm going to flare over here just a little bit. Let me see if I can get it to split up. Some doing the... Oh, no. So they're all going to come and take out this cannon, which means I need to shock it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to artillery that guy over there. I haven't lost anybody yet. Uh, this is good. Actually, I want to clear all this out so we could stand right here and take out the shock launcher and the rocket launchers here also. I'm going to put the barrage down right now because I'm afraid I'm going to roll up there and not have time to put that down. But once we take care of this uh, rocket launcher, I'm pretty confident. Okay, I'm going to have to flare back here because I really want to take that out because I don't want to be facing this while we're coming up here. I still have all my guys left. That's perfect. I'm going to flare over here. We don't want to face anybody over there. I'm going to get one shock here, and that should finish this, this base. Bring everybody over here. I don't want to do anything over there with that sniper tower. I want everybody focused over here. We actually have enough. I'm going to just take this out too. Uh, if, if that guy turns around, I'm going to shock him. Alright, so we're all set here now. Uh, that was the last guy that had any chance of taking one of my guys out. So this should be pretty easy finish right now. So you see, that was tricky because we had to keep moving around to, to take individual guys out. Um, that's why when these bases are spread out like this, but when they're spread out like this for a teammate to come in, it's really easy for a teammate to come in and just roll through this base because there's only one, in, only one um, 
defense that can actually hit them at the time. So uh, for a teammate, that's really easy to out heal and then just roll up. So although it's harder for grenadiers, it makes it much easier for a teammate to come up here. But we can do it with grenadiers. You can see zero losses. So uh, that's imitation six.